Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after a bit of light vassal management. Not because we needed to, but because I wanted to, if you can believe that. Unfortunately, it didn't quite pan out the way I was hoping, but uh, that's fine. You win some, you lose some, right? In any case, I think we have our next short-term goals planned out, so we'll act on that today. And by that, I mean to say that we'll start off by doing nothing, because I want more money before we go to war with Mason, and I need a claim before I can take Lausitz. So, yeah. A bit of waiting around until we can get the ability to uh, fabricate hooks and whatnot. That being said, though, um, I have been doing some thinking between episodes, which I realize is dangerous, as always. But I'm thinking that maybe we can use the claim system to bring some of these guys in and then maybe take some territory that way. So I'm just using this as an example here. But for example, we have this lady here who has an unpressed claim for that county. So as long as we're pressing claims for counties and not duchies, we might be able to get some new vassals and expand that way until we can get the Kingdom of Germany made. Yeah. I mean, once we take Lausitz and Mason, that'll be all we really need, honestly. Because we just need eight more counties to qualify for the uh, Kingdom title. So, yeah, we don't need to, but I guess if we can maybe find an easier and more uh, currently doable method, then sure, why not, right? Now, I remember we had a person with a claim on the county of Sankt Gallen, I think, but she seems to have buggered off. Unless maybe I was wrong. Um, did anyone? No, that's the title history. Wasn't there a lady type? Oh, she was the woman that we tortured and killed. Right. Um, oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, I shot myself in the foot, as it turns out. That's fine. And Adela has a claim on Mason. Hmm. Right. So, if we bring her into our court, we might be able to... Oh, I guess we can just do this anyways. But, I don't know if I want that. He's the guy who's got... Uh... Magdeburg. Wait, hold on. What's your territory, sir? Oh, you've got that. I see. Um, I would rather you stay in Anhalt, so I think not. Okay. Ah. Bit of internal border gore. Well, that is unfortunate. Um. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know if there's much that we can do at the moment. Because we can't even bring these guys in to uh, press their claims and all that jazz. Yeah, I don't like that system. Honestly, I... I mean, I guess that maybe CK2 made it a little too easy to bring people in. To uh, exploit them and whatnot. But what if I wanted to press this guy's claim? Because I'm pretty sure he wants that county, doesn't he? So, can I not use that as an incentive to coax him into my court so I can press his claim for him and then make him my vassal? No? Apparently not. Yeah, uh, it's a little unfortunate, but, uh, oh well. So yeah, we definitely need that, um, ability to, uh, fabricate hooks and all that jazz, so, sure. We'll have to wait. Uh, there is one county that we can gain in the meantime, though. We can go to war against the Duke of, um, Yulich and take our claim here of Fulda. Yeah, and then... Can we actually make the Duchy of Hesse? I think so, and then possibly attack some of these dudes for our de jure counties, right? Alright, so let's do that. You have no allies and neither do I, and that's going to cost us 56 ducats. Sure, let's do it. Unless maybe we shouldn't. Nope, we're doing it. Actually, um, sorry, I know this is kind of infuriating, but uh, I forgot about this guy. We need to deal with this guy for sure. Yeah, sorry, I completely forgot that this guy existed. We'll start with the one that he will definitely not accept, so that way there's no chance of him actually um, accepting this, because this way um, he'll rebel, rebel against me, and that'll give me another reason to um, imprison him and um, uh, mess with him and all, all that jazz. So let me get the... That's his... Alberstadt is his capital. And we still have the uh, Band of the Arrow reign for another 13 months. Gotcha. All right, guys, gather around. Thank you. And, sir, you are now going down. 
let's do this real quick so we can maybe um, attack this guy with the uh, mercenaries and all that jazz. Oh, Radbot, fantastic. Now, would it be easy to seduce you by any chance? I'm assuming the answer is a no. 65. Let's sway him a little bit more. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Come on, dude. There you are. My goodness, took you like 50 million years. All right, time for you to uh, shuffle off your mortal coil, good sir. But don't die, all right? If you can get captured, that'd be great, but no, it didn't work out. Who's this? Baldwin. Hmm, decent commander, maybe? Or decent uh, torture subject. No claims. Why do you seem familiar? Did I torture you? I think so, right? Did I torture this guy too? Oh, I totally did! Oh yeah! Well, sucks to be you, Baldwin. Um, I do have a bit of stress, so sure, let's do it. Ah, uh, no dark insights this time? Unfortunate. Oh well. I can ransom him. For 10 ducats. Interesting. Or I could keep him around and maybe execute him later on. You know, might be better that way. Uh, and you guys will go siege that down in the meantime, just in case he doesn't uh, capitulate immediately, of course. Oh no, that stack stays. No, wait, which is the stack that's gonna siege this down? The big stack, right? Or the small stack, right? Alright, uh, siege leader and siege leader, thank you. And you guys are still over the supply limit. I don't think so. Um, inspired moderation. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son and heir Electros what he thought. He claimed he had learned a lesson about not reaching for more than one can handle. So temperate, just, or cynical. I actually wouldn't mind temperance. Yeah, a bit of a boost to our stewardship isn't a bad idea, because as much as I want to be all goblin-y and cynical and all that jazz, um... This does come with some issues. And besides, Electrus will eventually, hopefully, die off. So it doesn't really matter how he ends up. Okay, we got a new leash. And the guy that I voted for did, in fact, um, take the throne. Nice. We now have a relatively incompetent um, Kaiser on the throne. To my evil vassal? Sure. Why not? I'll be your spy master. Sounds great. Can I use that to... Okay, so the leech, uh, leech changing doesn't change our vassal contract. Gotcha. Um, I guess since I'm already on your um, council, I don't need to worry about that. Spouse acting on my behalf. My husband s spends a significant amount of time traveling the realm with his honor guard. There are many matters he can settle uh, on my behalf, and the military presence of Prince Fend brings with him a firm reminder of my right to rule. Okay, so I can gain some prestige. I can gain a bit of dread. I can gain dread and prestige. And um, make him uh, stressed out a bit. Do I know what your stress level is now? Hmm, and then he loses a bit of opinion. 13 dread's not that crazy, so you know what? Let's just... Do that instead, sure. Yeah, I mean, Dread's nice, but it's easy enough to get. And eventually we'll get to the point where we can just um, keep our Dread the uh, whole time, so I think we'll be fine. Nominate. Oh, right, right, for the Holy Roman Empire. Um, does Kaiser Conrad have a child of his own? He is voting for this guy, who is his child. Okay, I will vote for him as well then, good sir. Hmm, okay, I don't know what the relevance is. No, not him. It was this guy, right? I think so. Yes, okay, great. And I think they like me more because I uh, am voting for their uh, dude, right? Yes, voting for my candidate, so that builds up uh, one per month. Gotcha. Very nice. And I think my marshal just finished his task of securing control, so work on Oldenburg, please. Thank you. Where are you going, sir? And I'm pregnant. 
Great. Um, I have no lover, so it's most likely my husband's. Damn it. That's not what I was hoping for, but sure. Tidbits from far away. I've already uh, read this before, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and... No, we will threaten her. And I guess we didn't get the thing to... That increased my, um, whatchamacallit? Hey yo, We captured him. Nice. Oh, I may be able to possibly ransom him first, though. So either that or... After I revoke all of his shit. Hmm. We take his money after I unland him. Right. Okay. Uh, I have a thought in my head. I'm wondering if it's possible for me to revoke both counties, though. Um... Hmm, let me take, um... Blankenberg first. Sure. And do I have another reason to... Oh, I do! Fantastic, that's perfect! So now I can just, uh, ransom him for all of his money of 100 ducats. Great! Oh, shoot, I should have done the, uh, cheeky little, uh, torture sesh, uh, before that. Oops, my bad. Can you just find it in your heart to die by your own volition, sir? Is that okay? Because I completely forgot to torture you. I'm sorry, I know you've come to expect the, um... You know, level of quality of uh, service that you are used to... With my, um... Dungeons, but... It completely slipped my mind. I'm so sorry. Um, just let me know if you want me to uh, give you a refund or discount on your, uh... Next, uh, torture sesh or something, I guess? In the meantime, we need to find someone to take these counties, I guess. Holy warrior. Uh, I think we'll be fighting mostly our own people, so... Maybe we can get the hideous trait bred into our little, uh, dynasty here. Hmm. Now, that being said, I think it's totally fine to, uh, land the gay dudes, because... They'll eventually make babies too, right? So, maybe we can have them just, uh, pass that trait on to their children. And then eventually, once the children come of age, bang them vigorously and uh, make some dwarven babies and all that jazz. Yeah, might not be a bad idea. Okay, so Philip, I'm gonna give you the county of... I know the hideous comes with a massive fertility debuff, but that's fine. I'll give you that county. Sure. And then I will give the dwarven dude the other county. Yes. Vita. Alright, Vita. Congratulations. Blankenberg is yours. Nice. Very nice. Of course, uh... Actually, not that bad. I'm only three over my vast limit. Unless, maybe, the thing hasn't reset. Because I know it's got some issues. Whoa! Stuart, holy crap! Thank you so much. That's awesome. That is absolutely fantastic. I guess I should go on my pilgrimage now, though, right? Yeah, uh, I'm pregnant. I don't know if that's going to be an issue. Maybe I should hold off on that, just in case. Yeah, you know what? I'll wait until I've uh, given birth before I do that. Sure. Then in the meantime, let's go ahead and attack this kid. For shits and giggles and also my claim here. And how are you doing with the uh, war against Poland? Oh, they're winning. Can you not? Can you not win, please? Although, Mason does extend into uh, what Poland currently has, so I suppose it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for them to take what is eventually due, um, owed to me, right? Have them do the heavy lifting for us. And our mercenary contract is going to expire in four months. Um, I don't think we'll need them, though. Yeah, let's do this, kid. You and me, we're throwing down. There we go. Alright, so we'll start things off by seeing down his, um, our war goal, and then we'll move on to, uh, maybe hoopiously thrangling his, uh, his, uh, armies and all that jazz. Sure. No. A big stack, please. Thank you. And, of course, Siege Leader. Great. Alright, kid. Well, let me know if you want to, uh, throw down. I would gladly meet you on the, uh, battlefield and, um, you know, do what we need to do here. Sure. 
I think we're fine as is. All right, let's send the uh, mercenary or let's send our dudes out and uh, meet them on the field of battle. Stop moving around. Move around to only places where it's adv advantageous for me, please. There we go. Eat shit. Um, to make Mayor Radbottle Schweinfurt more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment in my next missive to his uh, court. I'll be sure to mention his youthful vigor. Or keep it short and professional. Is that a dig on his height? It's not, I know, but still. Um, He's insane? Hopefully he takes it as a compliment? Hey, oh, it worked. Nice. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, he was not sweet. Really? That 80 something percent chance and it didn't work? Oh, come on, man. Unbelievable. Absolutely un. Oh, we are eh, taking some casualties, but it's fine. We'll recuperate them, uh, uh, recuperate them at some point, I guess. Or maybe not. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. All right, sure, siege that down, and we lost our mercenaries, but that's fine, because we are no longer... What? Over the... Supply limit. Oh, shit! Oh, those guys were part of the mercenaries. Oh, no! Um... All right. Let's have you... Go to Hanover, please. Son? Son? What? Ugh. No. Humphreyed? I don't think so. Let's go with, um... Fried poop. Freed poop. There you go. Um, totally a totally Saxon name. Obviously. Not at all made up. Not bullshit at all in the slightest. Um, absolutely a legitimate uh, German name or Saxon name. Sure. Let's go with that. Damn it. Okay, so... Where's the other dude? Did he... He wasn't part of the mercenaries, was he? Maybe he was. Alright, that's Siege down. Thank you. And since we only have the one Siege leader, I guess we'll just do this then. Sure. I think he may have run out of troops. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be responding to this at all. He's just completely shut down, and that's lowered my uh, fervor even more. Oh, I think the maximum is uh, negative 50. Damn it. Okay, that is unfortunate. And Hedvig might actually get a, a better education. Interesting. I guess we'll see how she turns out. Um, I don't know if it's even worth it to hold on to Electros as a uh, mentee, though. All right. Thank you. Great. Okay, so Fulda, um, anything to chop and change here? What? Hold on, but don't we have... Oh, I guess, um, it'll probably change hands now, right? I'm guessing? Or sometime soon? Alright, so who wants this land? Maybe another uh, Dwarven dude? Or we could look for other inheritable traits, I suppose. Mm, not stuttering... Not beauty. Hmm. Imbecile's funny, I guess, but I feel like that would be a little too detri- Oh, ho! yes. Mr. Scaly Skin. I'm sure he doesn't appreciate being called that, but, uh, Vilbrand. Sure, Vilbrand or something. Well, that is yours, Vilbrand. Congratulations. Okay, so I think we should now be one step closer to forming the uh, Kingdom of Germany. Yes, sir. So we need seven more counties. Gotcha. Um, Mason has... Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, is it only five? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's only five right now. Um, hmm, so we need two more after that. Gotcha. Maybe this kid might have some stuff? Hmm, not sure that he does. Can I attack anyone else? 
I can declare wars. King Rainer of England. Oh, right, because my husband has a claim on the, the Kingdom of England. I can attack him for uh, Holy War. Pretty sure that's the same thing. Gotcha. Of Brabant. No, that's a little too far away from Germany. Frisia. I have a claim on a county there, I guess. Lausitz. Now this could work. That could work. Except I don't like the idea of that, though. No. I don't like him um, overextending his territory and all that jazz. Now, would that work? That's us out of the Germany, so I don't think so. And I can also attack um, this guy for all that stuff. Right. But we don't really have much of a chance to survive make our time right now, so... Oh, we ha uh, got some um, prisoners. Nice. Can I revoke your shit? Where exactly are you from? Oh, okay. So from uh, Ulich. Gotcha. I think... Let's do a uh, sneaky little torture sesh and, um, damn it. And then ransom him afterwards. And this guy. Oh, he was my former vassal, I remember. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, please. There we go. Got some prowess. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but sure. And now we ransom you. Congratulations. Now that I got what I wanted from you, um, you are free to go. And this guy, interesting. I can't like recruit these guys, can I? No, but I can get a weak hook on them. Mm. Is that what we need right now though? I don't think so. so I can torture you. You don't have a lot of uh, very powerful family members, I don't think. So sure, unless maybe your liege is somehow related to you. Nope. All right, then, you know, we're doing this. Engelbert, I will ransom you now, sir. Congratulations. All right, my dude. Thank you. And good old ransom. There you go. Get the fuck out of my dungeons. The uh, mine pit is no um, home for you anymore. Good, sir. And how are you doing with the uh, war? Okay, they're about to win. Damn, damn, damnity damn. Hmm. Okay, um... We almost have the next perk available, so let me wait until we have that, and then I'll start uh, fabricating some hooks and possibly getting some uh, assassinations here going. So... Oh, shit. He's gonna receive the Duchy of Bar as well as Mason. That is not good at all. Mm, we need him dead for sure. For sure. Right, because once he dies, then the other daughters will um, be given the uh, land split apart. Perfect. I finished reading the la latest letter from uh, Mayor Radbot of Schweinfurt and Smile. He seems to have warmed to me at last. While this is a success, I'm tempted to use this opportunity to try to get it even closer. Um, 74% chance of him liking me more. Ah, oh, nice. Held my breath for that one. All right, let's go ahead and uh, stop swaying him so we can sway his genitalia into my genitalia. There we go. Very nice. Okay, can the sad music go away now, please? I get it. I tortured someone against their will, all right? I understand. I did a bad thing. Jeez, don't need to lay it on thick now. Come on, man. I'm just doing what, needs to, uh, what I need to do to um, secure my realm and all that jazz and just give me all kinds of grief for torturing a person. Unbelievable. Okay, um, Amorous Understanding. Right, so we need to find out what his tastes and preferences are. Mm. We have a 95% chance of success, let's not mess it up. Yeah, we'll just uh, talk to him and increase my diplomacy, sure. 91%. Aha! Okay, let's get, um... Truth is relative. Sure. And... I think we might want to just kill Fried Poop. Yeah, for sure. Hmm... 
I wish I had better chance of success, though. Oh, no, we can definitely get a better chance of success. Yes, indeed. All right, let's do that. Because at least with um, Electros, he's got that uh, Dwarven thing. So what I could do, I'm thinking, is I know this is a little um, not great in terms of strategy and whatnot, but basically disinherit him so he won't be taking any lands and then just get him to uh, marry someone and start pumping out some uh, Dwarven babies and then just marry them back to our family. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe that's a good way to use his talents. Now, obviously that's not playing optimally, but this campaign really just isn't about playing optimally. It's just about having fun, messing around, figuring out the intrigue system and how far we can take it, etc, etc. And you know what? I think I'm actually getting a better sense of it and its strengths and whatnot. And I can definitely see its utility and function, so... I don't know. I think uh, let's just keep going with it. Again? Is it stuck in that loop again? Because I know sometimes the game does that where the events just get stuck in a loop. And Eloise has joined my plot. Right, that's not a huge surprise, I guess. Hmm. Anyone with any other useful county claims? Duchy of Savoy, a little too far. Bourbon is in France, so a little too far. And she's the one with all the uh, Mason and all that jazz. As well as parts of my territory. Where's Lodeberg? Oh, okay. So that's my territory too. Gotcha. All right, fine. Um, Then no. How about that? Okay, so now that we are able to fabricate hooks. Shit. Okay, let's get my killed, uh, child killed first. And then... Oh, this is different. Troubadour's dedication. Um, let's not. No, I don't want to mess up my chances. Um, so after my child has been uh, accidentally removed from this existence, we'll, um, I guess, try to get a claim on the uh, Pope and then... Or hook on the Pope. I keep saying claim. I'm so sorry. But we'll try to get a... Ooh, this might take a bit of luck. Um... Hmm, that is going to be interesting. All right, definitely Eloise then. Because, ooh, albino dude, interesting. All right, just uh, keep doing what you're doing there, sir. Um, and then we will try to, um, I guess, get a hook on or uh, claim on Lausitz. If not, then we might need to just look around for more claims and all that jazz. Or uh, put a claim out for people that have... Um, Oh, sorry, get a hook on people that have claims and then just bring them into my court and then press the claim that way. So it's a bit of a longer, um, I guess, strategy, but, you know, it might be what we need to do here. And she's definitely going to win unless something changes immediately, which I don't think w will happen, unfortunately. Okay, so she has no more prestige left. If I were to attack her now... I would definitely be able to hire mercenaries for sure. Um, now her allies are uh, somewhat powerful. She's not gaining a ton of prestige per month. She's also not making a ton of money per month. So I think it's okay if we give this a bit more time. Yeah, I mean, we should be all right, but just in case. But you know what? This is great, though. Because now that you have that, um, we can... Ah, oh, shit. I was thinking that we might want to um, dissolve some of these alliances before we attack her. But then I just realized I also need to fabricate some hooks and all that jazz. So we might need to just go for it and pray that her allies aren't able to hire mercenaries. Or if they do, they're not going to be that powerful. Hmm... But we also need to kill this kid, though, before anyone bites the bucket here. This is going to be interesting. Very interesting. Can I at least uh, seduce me a Radbot before we end the episode, please? Um... I guess we're having our violent sex again. Sure. Kiss me again, you evil knave. Do me. Plow me good. Put a baby inside of me. Salt in the wound. 
Oh, somebody's feeling not so good, I see. Um, while I was at the market with Electros, his attention was caught by a criminal chained to the pillory. Uh, Electros watched him for a while. When he did nothing but cough and beg for water, Electros rolled his eyes and kept on walking. Callous, arrogant, or compassionate? You know what? Sure, be callous. Why not? Sounds good to me. And, um, can I invite some more people? I can invite my own bishop with a hefty bribe, so no thanks. What? I thought it said that I can invite four people. Did you lie to me? He totally lied to me. You liar. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. By another man. I have agonized over it and the signs are clear. I'm with child. It is no cause for joy. I have no doubt that it is my lover, Mayor Radbot, who is the real father rather than my husband, Sven. Mm hmm. Confess my infidelity? Absolutely not. No one must ever know. That's right. Keep it a secret. Very nice. Pregnant and possibly giving birth to a uh, dwarven girl, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right. Well, uh, you know what? Let's actually end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and I think we might need to just press our luck and go to war with Mason. Um, get some mercenaries and hope for the best. Yeah, or, you know, apply a bit of strategy too, but, you know, also hope for the best. Because praying apparently seems to be working here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Although I'm sure sometimes um, you wonder if that's exactly my strategy. Just pray for the best. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyways, um, that's it for now. So thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.